Mrs. Hilda Davis is first in the ring against bread rationing. Out to call a halt to further cuts, she aims to get 10,000 signatures on a hands-off-our-food petition to Food Minister John Strachey. Here are the first volunteers in the army of indignant housewives. And coming back to face the housewives' barrage, the food minister takes good care to say little about his food talks in America. This was his only comment. Well, I should say the most interesting news to us that I bring back from North America is that the Canadian crop and the American crop also, uh, the prospect is distinctly better than it was two or three weeks ago. And that's very important to us, of course. But bread rationing followed just the same with a July 21st dateline. And Mr. Strachey gets another challenge. Housewives pack in to hear Vicar's wife and food crusader Mrs. Lovelock fire the opening shots in the Stop the Bread Cuts battle. We, the housewives of Great Britain, are in open revolt against bread rationing. The rich people will not suffer. It's the middle class, the poor people, the people with children. They're the ones that's going to suffer. It's bread for breakfast, bread for dinner, bread for tea for them. And therefore, we, the British Housewives League, will not stand for bread rationing. That was Mrs. Lovelock. And this is one of the 2,000 extra civil servants for bread control. And this is the ration card itself. Take a good look. You're going to see it each day and every day for at least a year. Watch out, this doesn't go under the counter. <laughs> 